Welcome fellow vintage Ray-Ban lovers out there, hope you're well. And welcome to episode 2 of how to tell your vintage Ray-Bans are fake or 100% genuine. Um, so here is a selection of Wafer 2s in different colours. Uh, we've got a special edition and obviously uh, they're all different models as well. So, uh, so let's get into it. And uh, the first thing I want to discuss is the difference between a wafer 2 and the original Wayfarer. So here I have a pair of Wayfarers and a pair of wafer 2 side by side for comparison. And this is really just to compare the sizes because there is, um, there is a difference and when you get them side by side you, you can tell uh, the difference between the two. The Wayfarer, which is on the left hand side, and the Wayfarer 2, which is on the right, the Wayfarer is smaller than the Wayfarer 2. Now, for um, dimensions of each um, pair of sunglasses, the overall dimensions I'm going to tell you, which includes the frame as well. The height of the Wayfarer is 46 millimeters, and the height of the Wayfarer 2 is 51 millimeters. The width of the Wayfarer is 59 millimeters, and the width of the Wayfarer 2 is 61 millimeters. So the height difference between the Wayfarer 1 and the Wayfarer 2 is approximately 5mm and the difference in width between the Wayfarer 1 and the Wayfarer is 2mm. So that is the main difference between the two sunglasses and as I said if you had them in your hand side by side you will absolutely tell which is the smaller or which is the larger of the two so let's get into the actual wafer 2 sunglasses and let me show you the other identification areas to look out for so the first thing on the front of the frame is the hinge stud which is here and here it is of a metal silver color. It won't come in any other color. It is also rounded a little bit on the top and a little bit at the bottom, but then it does have pointed edges on either side, on the left and the right. The lenses are larger than the Wafer one. The size of the lenses on the Wafer 2 is the height, so taking it from the middle, which is the highest point, so from here to here, is 44 millimeters, And then the width, taking it from the widest points, which is approximately here to here, is 51 millimeters. Now you will get an inscription of BL, which you will find here and here. And like the Wafer Ones, you won't get it up here and you won't get it down there. You'll never get it in the eye line. You get it tight to the edge of the sunglasses. The same thing again, you won't get it up here. You won't get it down there but you'll get it in the middle of the lens on the edge um, as I said earlier I'm not going to go into too much detail about the lenses because you know they deserve their own special video however you will get some lenses that do have double inscription so the second inscription may be at the top here in the middle tight to the edge and here in the middle tight to the edge now I've turned them over the next thing 
is the arms and what you'll notice in the middle you'll get the brace which is basically a metal rod that goes all the way from the hinge to the base of the ear stem you will see that hinge unless it is the ebony um, color the black color um, if I show you an example now you can see the rod going through the hole of the arm but you can't see the rod going through the arm of the black version that's only because of color for obvious reasons also on the arms you get the Ray-Ban logo which is here and here on Wayfarer ones you don't tend to get this logo but on all of Wayfarer 2's no exception you will get the Ray-Ban logo so the Ray-Ban logo it is actually cut around the letters so you won't get the badge won't come in it won't be a square it will be cut around the letters and it will follow the line of the letters So if we look at the ear stem, this is how an ear stem will look on a wafer 2. There won't be any other variation. It will also it will always have this incline and it will never be straight. The next thing is on the inside of the front of the frame. Now with Wayfarer 1's you will generally get an inscription around about here which will either say BNL50222 or BNL5024. In a pair of Wayfarer 2's you don't get that whatsoever and you will never get that. So the area here is always blank. The next thing to look out for is the hinge which is here and there's only one hinge that will be on a pair of wafer or twos and that's this hinge here. It is a seven point hinge. One part of the hinge is attached to the arm and the second point of the hinge is attached to the front of the frame. Now it will always have a flat head screw which is here. It will never have a um, star shaped Phillips um, screwdriver or cross head. And it will also have two studs attaching it to whichever part um, it's attached to. So either the arm or either the front of the frame. You will also find on a pair of Wafer 2's that it has a single circular stud next door to the hinge plate on the arm. It always has that. On a pair of Wayfarer 1's you don't get that. So that is a small detail but a very important detail is that small little stud right there. You will always get that on a pair of Wayfarer 2's. The next thing to look out for is the inscription on the side of the arm. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to change the sunglasses so that there is uh, so that you can see it better. So here we have the inscription on the right hand arm of a pair of wafer twos. It says B and L Ray Ban USA. Now the inscription will be at the same height as the stud here. It won't be here, it won't be down there, 
it will be directly in line with the stud and that should also the top of that letter in follow the line of the brace the metal rod that's inside the arm so um, that's something to really look for you know if you if you want to definitely make sure because some of these copies are excellent these days but it's it's all about the smaller details so once again the inscription will be in line with the stud and also be in line with the metal rod going through the arm on the left hand side arm you will have the inscription wayfarer 2 and the 2 will be in roman numerals it won't be the number 2 um, it will be the roman numeral form of number 2 once again the wayfarer 2 will be in line with the circular silver stud and also be in line with the rod going through so the sometimes arm. you will notice that the lettering isn't so clear on a pair of wafer or two sunglasses there's nothing wrong with that basically when the glasses were in factory they were stamped with some form of paint in them that will rub off over time due to usage however you will still see the lettering if you look closely because the lettering on both arms are stamped into the into the into the arms so they're both stamped into the arms so you'll still see that lettering just not as clearly uh, as if it was a brand new product coming out of factory the color of the nose pads which are here 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 and here on all black wafer twos they are black and on all other colors they are clear when you get them in your hand and you look at it really closely they do not form part of the main frame shape they are in fact an actual separate piece and you'll actually be able to see the join line where it's been glued to the frame. You'll also notice the hinge and temple arm point. They are both cut at a 45 degree angle so that when you open up the temple arm and you put it on your face it will create a 90 degree angle with the front of the frame. If we look to the side of the sunglasses as you can tell the front of the frame has a lean to it so wafer of twos the front of the frame will never be at a 90 degree angle it will never be straight it will always lean into the sunglasses so um, so that's one thing to look out for with a pair of wafer of twos just as the wafer of ones the front of the frame does have a lean to them. So what you will find with special edition models is they may have uh, different points of references. So what you see in front of you here is the wafer of frost. Everything about it is exactly the same as a wafer of two. It is a wafer of two. However, as you can see on the right hand um, lens you have the Ray-Ban inscription in the corner now the Ray-Ban inscription follows the the line of the top of the frame here okay so what I have seen in the past not particularly with wafer twos but with other models with the fake lot is that it won't follow the the shape of the frame it'll either be sort of here or it will be here or it'll be sort of lower than what you can see here it'll be around about here 
but with all genuine Ray-Bans, and this goes for all of their Ray-Ban inscription, it is tight to the frame edge. The second thing that's different about this particular special edition in the Wafer 2 is the inscription. It doesn't say Wafer 2, it just says Wayfarer. However, it is a pair of Wafer 2s. The size of it is the same, you know, everything about it is the same as the rest of the sunglasses in this model. So here is a second special edition wafer or two that I have. Uh, the, the differences on this particular model is firstly, the hinge studs are in a gold color and not in a silver color. And secondly, instead of having the traditional Ray-Ban badge on the arms, here and here, it simply has Ray-Ban plates in gold. So there you have it folks, the identification points to look out for when purchasing a pair of vintage B&L Ray-Ban Wafer 2 sunglasses. I hope you found it informative, if you have any questions please feel free to ask in the comment box. Please like, please share, please subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Peace.